still closed. No, if I had. Tilly opened her eyes and met Quinn's matching deep blue ones, wanting to hear. Well, she wasn't sure. Something to make her feel better. Hmm. What? She asked. What would you have done? Quinn opened her mouth, but then closed it with a helpless shake of her head, like she wasn't sure. So you came here now to what? Player off. See, that's how it works. Quick synopsis, synopsis of it all. Uh, um, I don't consider it a disability, but the school had a lot to that, uh, the blind school. And they, they uh, told us that we had to be a little bit better than our sighted counterpart, and we had to have a rough, tough skin because uh, my eyes are disfigured and people would make fun of me, a lot of kids, and um, I would just take it with a grain of salt and go on with my work. So, and then of course I did impressions. Okay, sister. Just because you got me on this gurney doesn't mean my six guns aren't nearby. I want to make one thing clear. I am not a crook. It's, uh, my teeth are slipping. I, I wish I better wash them in some effort and put, put them back in over again. So they like it, and uh, they'll say, Hey, Mom, where's that guy that does all those imitations? Can't you hire him to tune the piano again? So I'd get a lot of work from that. So it was interesting, you know. I was born February 7, 32, and in 34 was when I was given the medicine had an infection that started in my mother's womb. And then I got this infection and a nurse made a mistake and gave me medicine I shouldn't have had and within a half hour I was blind. Then my mother, well I never knew her per se, but I've had friends up there tell me that her name was Margaret and uh, I could see her and they knew her and I said, if she walked up to me on the street and said, I'm your mother, and I'd say, well, how do you do, and let it go. Because if she abandoned me when I was two years old, what do I need her now for? When I needed her most, she left. She said, what can I do for a blind boy, and she walked out on me. I don't consider it a disability, but blindness or handicap is a nuisance, but it can be overcome. And I have, and, and I've done it, I've been very successful. And I, I don't wanna, I, I don't wear religion on my sleeves, but I think the Lord put me there to tell people that you can do things in spite of your handicap. Uh, be, be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, that's all, folks.